Hello everyone, welcome back to Katia Fight Trading Part 4. This is Hans. Today we're going to start creating our components for this harness and we're going to start with this small cylinder for the easiest one to the hardest one. So I have already the drawing for this with all the measures and remember all the measures are in millimeters so if you need to change your units just go to tools, options, parameters and measures, units, length and change it to millimeters. Just press OK. And let's start to create a new part. So let's go to File, New, Part. And you center the part name as a cylinder. Press Enter or OK. Now on this tree we can change the name of the uh, of our part. Just right click, go to properties, go to product and part number. We can change the name of, of our product. Let's add it a dash file. And now we can see here cylinder dash file. Okay, let's start creating a profile. Let's take a look at the drawing again. Let's create this part first of the cylinder. So we have a radius of 30 millimeters for this circle and a length of 100 millimeters. So let's go to again to our part cylinder. Let's select the sketch. We need to select a plane. I like to use this plane. So I just click it. You can see on the compass we're working on the YSD plane. So let's create a circle. We have the profile toolbar here. So let's select the circle. Select the, the center point here. The zero zero. And uh, another click here. We need to change the, the diameter for this circle. So we can do it in two ways. One is double click here and change the radius to 30 or but in this way if we touch the circle and we move it, we can change the radius again so to to fix that we need to add some constraint so let's click on constraint here or you can find it here on insert constraint constraint creation constraint just click it here click on the circle and now we have a radius of 41 so just double click here and let's change to 30 millimeters radio press ok and now the circle is green that means it, it has a constraint and it's done so to exit a workbench we can click here exit workbench or change to another workbench but I like to use the exit workbench here to get back to the previous workbench part design. So now we have a circle here. So now we need to add a path. So let's go to path here. Let's select. Let's put a length of 100 millimeters. We need to select a profile. Our circle is our profile. And now you can see here, you can put a preview. So it looks good, so press OK. So now it has been finished this part of our cylinder. So now we need to add this profile in both sides. So just take a look at the measures. It's 10, 10 millimeters from here to here, 10 millimeters from here here and 20 millimeters from here to here but we're going to create only the half so it's going to be 10 millimeters here and 30 millimeters for, from here to here so let's get back to our cylinder part so we need to create another sketch under part body you can see here we add a pad for sketch 1 so we're going to add another sketch we can select this plane or this plane. I'm going to use 
the x plane. Okay, now we are going to create this the previous profile, this profile, this one. To do that, I'm going to use the line command here. Let's start a line here. You can see it here. But what about how we know where at the end of this? We can put it here, and we know it's going to be 30 millimeters. So double click the line. You can change the length to 30, and now it's good but sometimes it's going to be you're not going to have the the measure to so another way to do it is use project 3d elements so we're going to select this line and we're going to use project 3d elements common so we select and then select the line and now you can see a yellow line now, if, what about if we use the line command again, select the center point and the end point. You can see we are on the end point because the small circle in blue is filled. So I just click it. Now we have a 30 millimeters line. With that, we are sure we are yet in the end of this cylinder. So we can delete this one, this one. Now. I'm going to create the rest of this profile by using the profile command. The profile command is almost the same as a line, but you need a start point and an end point. But after that, you can continue generating lines. And another thing of this tool is you keep pressing your left, left mouse click, left mouse button, I mean, and you're going to have a orange circle. And with that means you can create curves, as you can see here. So sometimes this tool is very useful. And to finish the profile, you need to close it. Or if you want to finish, for example, here, just press Escape. OK, let me delete this one. You select it and select Delete. So I'm going to create the rest of the profile. I'm going to start in this corner here here and here and press escape now I'm gonna add the measures to these to these lines with the constraint we know this is going to be a 10 millimeters this one is going to be a 10 millimeters and this one need to be a 20 millimeters from here so we finish our profile here so we need we can exit the workbench so as you can see here we have our profile and now we're going to use the row I mean the shaft the shaft command to use this command we need a profile profile surface in, in this case is this one and an axis but we don't have an axis so we need to create a line for the axis I'm going to select this point and this point so this line is going to be our axis we want our profile go through all the circle according to this axis so I'm going to select the shaft again select the profile and select the rotation and you can press the preview button and now you can see we have finished this side of the cylinder just press ok and I'm gonna finish this tutorial here I'm going to make the next video just to not make it longer ok see you see you guys take care